Nancy couldn't wait to have Noah and me arrested for kidnapping Ethan. Now she's trying to protect us. Why? What are you waiting for? Noah and I said there's no one else here. So leave. The chief will have our hides, but don't check out this place from top to bottom. My grandfather will have your jobs if you don't leave us alone. Now go. Why do you object to us just checking out the bedroom or the closet? If there is some disgusting creature in the closet, I want it to stay there. With any luck, it will suffocate. And as for my bedroom, it's private. And messy. Uh, very messy. There's, you know, there's clothes strewn all over the place, and um, the bed is actually, uh, <laughs> well, it's, look, we've been very ambitious. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, it's not that I don't appreciate it, because I really do. But two seconds ago, you were ready to go trek through the snow to find Ethan some help. And now you're protecting both him and Teresa. Why? What's going on? Haven't you told those cops that Ethan and Teresa are here? Teresa's in the closet, isn't she? Yeah, she's in the closet. No, you two certainly aren't making this easy for me. What do you mean? What are you doing? Be quiet so I can think. Will you please tell me where your head is about this whole Ethan-Teresa thing? And do it quick, all right? Those cops are suspicious. They go into either the closet or the bedroom. Teresa and I are done for. I know. Look, let's go already. We came here, searched the place, found... Miss Crane with her guy. End of story. Yeah, I don't think so. Those two are really nervous. And why did that Noah guy lie about being here alone? Miss Crane told you they're secret lovers. Yeah, I think it's more than that. I think they're hiding something. But what? I don't understand why Fancy hasn't turned me in and Noah for kidnapping Ethan. I mean, she was all set to hide down at the mountain, pick up the phone, call Gwen, call the police. Now the police are here and she's trying to get them to leave. I don't know why she's doing this. That's great. Chill already. If you look any more uptight, those cops will know we're hiding something. We are hiding something, all right? Teresa's in the closet and our comb-tails half-brothers hooked up to a noisy respirator in the bedroom. I know I heard a weird noise coming from the bedroom. I know, and Miss Crane said it was her white noise machine. My ex had one of those. It never sounded like someone breathing. We'd better hope those cops are more afraid of the Cranes than they are curious about what's going on in here. Because if they're not, we don't stand a chance. And neither does Ethan.